Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, today we are talking uh, Universal, uh, Genève, always wondered why we say Genève since uh, it's on the dial of many other brands from over there, but typically we say Universal, Genève or Geneva. Yes, this is the uh, Okeanos Moon Chronograph from the early 2000s. The brand is in the news today because Breitling has just announced that it was purchasing it, which is very exciting because uh, UG is producing watches at the moment, but a far cry from the days of uh, glory. But back in the mid-90s, the brand had already been revived after the, after the uh, problems of the quartz crisis. And uh, using uh, value-based uh, movements, they would come up with uh, interesting watches with uh, complications like a uh, split chronograph or this uh, full calendar with a circular date uh, chronograph. Uh, so it's based on a value 751, seven, uh, two different dial uh, colors were available. This blue one is really uh, stunning and I think you get a lot of watch for the money with those late 90s, early 2000s watches. The, the styling is very much of the era. I love the uh, touches of uh, red. So you have the circular date and you have the day and month uh, at the top in little apertures. A very endearing watch with the moon face. So at the back, you have a Valjoux 7751 repurposed as the UG 99.1, 42 hours power reserve running at 4 hertz. And it is COSC certified. And don't worry, a little service always bring them back to a very good accuracy. These are excellent uh, movement uh, bases. Uh, Size-wise, this one is 42 millimeters, but uh, lug to lug under 50 millimeters, so very wearable with the short lugs, and it is reasonably uh, slim at 14.25 millimeters of thickness. Uh, you get a lot of watch, a lot of looks, and uh, this is how it looks on my 17 centimeter wrist, uh, available right now at a place where you can always find unusual, great watches, lots of indies, it's Backwatch Department. Link in the description. Buy with trust. Bye-bye.